let's look at this individually. Let's start at A. What does it mean by the effectiveness of the flu? Well, that could mean on something like an open flued appliance, you might have to do your flu flow test or your spillage test, depending on what tasks you're doing. The supply of combustion air could be checking air vents to make sure they've not got fly screens or what, and that you measure them correctly so they are the correct size for that appliance. Now C is subject to paragraph CA, that's the next one, we'll have a look at that closely in a minute, it's operating pressure or it's heat input. It's inlet pressure could mean down here, actually on the isolation valve or inside on the gas valve and it's heat input is actually it's gas rate. It then goes on to say when necessary both. So when would you do the heat input and the inlet pressures? Well that could be when you're commissioning a brand new appliance and testing to see whether it's working correctly or not. Now the next one, CA, which is this next one down, it says if it's not reasonably practicable to do its uh, operating pressures or its heat input or both, then it says you can do its combustion performance test. So if you can't gas rate and you can't do your inlet pressures, you just have to flue gas analyze. That's what it says. And then finally, D, which is to check its safe functioning, which would technically be checking the FSDs, or flame supervision devices, on the appliance to make sure they knock out within time if the flame gets extinguished. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, this is very vague, the information that's given. And engineers can pretty much interpret that in however they want. So if you read a little bit further down the page, it points us to Appendix 3. So 241 says Appendix 3 provides details of the appropriate tests and examinations that should be carried out. He then goes on to say a list of the relevant standards can be found in the legislative, nominative and informative document list. So let's take a look at Appendix 3 and see if this makes it clearer on the tests we need to carry out when we're doing our 26-9 checks.